Good morning. Happy Saturday, you guys. I know what I look like, so you don't have to tell me, okay? You don't have to tell me. I am just now opening the blinds and such. I've been in my room. I took a while to get ready this morning. Took a long shower, okay? Did my face routine all extra hard. Not extra hard, but you know what I'm saying. This is my final weekend of writing, you guys, for my dissertation. I turn in a complete document next Tuesday. Tuesday. On Tuesday, <laughs> I submit my dissertation. And ew, this has been a journey. Y'all know this, I've been recording it. Hopefully at some point I will be able to edit these so that you can see. But wow, this has been crazy and I can't believe it's actually happening. I don't have much left to do. Ooh, I just got like the jitters thinking that. But so much fun stuff has happened. I think I caught all of it, but I, um, I ordered my robe and hood and the tam. go because I think I'm gonna get me a little bit of hair for the graduation okay. a little bit so I might go 23 and a half okay but let's do it mom. double check this is fun this is very fun and then my initials GCH that's me <laughs> We gonna go to the next step. I just want to document because I want to remember these times. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. What? It just lists everything on the it's the uh, in my cart. Okay, that is. Oh my gosh, check Gabe. out. Wow. I ordered my regalia, you guys. Wow, you guys! Did that, did that fam come with the robe? I mean, that uh, drape thing, whatever they drape on you. Is that part of the robe, or do? You yeah, that's the hood. Oh, okay. So on the order package, you said the tam, the robe, and then the hood. So. <laughs> ah! Oh, stop it! So this is Jane. This is Jamie oh, from our program. So it's hard, I mean, it's hard to see in this picture, but yeah, like, it's off the bat. Oh, this is like, look at that, Gaby girl. And um, what else did I do? I ordered a graduation frame, actually early February. I don't think I recorded that, but um, they were on sale. So my dad was like, go ahead and get you one, girl. So I got like a really nice Ohio State frame for my, um, my degree when it finally comes, you know, in the summertime. What else did I do? Oh, we ordered the shirts. I don't know if I told you guys that, but we went ahead and ordered the village shirts that my family and friends will be wearing during my defense. Um, and can I just say, custom ink is fire. It was so easy to go on, make a design, and have the group order form, and all the stuff was collected through custom ink for free, y'all. I don't pay for custom ink, nothing. Okay, but they had the group order form option. Everybody could go in, order their shirt, whatever size. They had a really detailed size chart. And then they could choose to have it shipped to them or shipped to my house. Um, and everybody chose to ship it to them, which was great for the people that live out of state because anyone can get a shirt and it's gonna get delivered to them. Um, I had my order open all of February. And just because of shipping times and stuff with COVID being weird, um, I went ahead and ended it in February because I think it says like 15 days um, for them to ship. That sounds right. Two weeks for them to ship. And then obviously shipping can be weird. So I wanted to make sure people had them in time for April 6th, which is my defense date. So yeah, the shirts are on their way. I'm really excited. They'll be going to my home in Ohio, so I won't actually see them until probably the week of my defense when I go home. I am defending from Ohio. I don't know if I told you guys that either. Have I been vlog, I've been vlogging. I just don't know if I've been putting these in those vlogs. Yeah, anyways. My parents bought me a plane ticket home and I'm gonna defend from Ohio so that after my defense, I'm not just stuck by myself like, yay, that was fun, now what? <laughs> so I'll be in Ohio. Obviously we can't gather in loads and droves because of stupid that, but 
um, we're still gonna, I'll still be able to be around people, still be able to be around family, and just, you know, celebrate. Even if we all stand outside and sing Kumbaya, okay? I just need to celebrate the fact that I'm delivered from this dissertation and this PhD, okay? Okay, I have another thing that's amazing that I'm really excited about, but I don't think I can put it in here because I don't know if my dad watches my vlogs or not, and I don't wanna ruin the surprise, so not gonna talk about that. But anyways, what else have I done that was really exciting? Oh, okay, this is bad, but it's not bad. But yesterday, um, I made it through a really hard week. Like, this was a really tough work week, which is, Unfortunately, why I don't really have a lot of footage from during the week because I was a mess. I was a mess, okay? I was just, I was not in a good place. Just trying, <gasps> perfect example of me being a mess. Y'all, see, y'all about to get the real. Y'all want the real, y'all want the real uh, experience of what it is to be a grad student, to be a PhD student, finishing this process while also a full-time intern. Perfect example here. I was sitting here talking to you guys on my banister, on my little uh, breakfast, whatever this thing is, banister thing. Y'all look at this. I have a whole cup of coffee that I made sometime yesterday. I'm assuming during work. I have the milk. That is, <laughs> you know what? This is probably still fluffy and hot. Yep, it is because I didn't even turn the button off. And if you don't turn this button off, it'll just keep running the milk. So this is like super overprocessed heated milk. It's probably curdling by now. Yuck. And the coffee that was supposed to go in that is freezing cold and has just been sitting here. <sighs> what do I say about this moment? <laughs> what do I say? This is this is the life, okay, you guys? This is the life. Since I showed y'all the coffee situation. This is two bags from takeout this week. I don't think these were the only two times I had takeout. This room? Oh baby. Yeah, I know I'll be showing you me cleaning my space and all that. This is what it is like to have a ridiculous life. <laughs> my suitcase is under there because I was in Ohio for my birthday week, as y'all know. And everything, I did actually unpack it when I got here. But the stuff that I had to hang up in my closet, I just left in there. And yeah, that's why the suitcase is still out. It also takes a little bit of effort to put the suitcase back in my closet because it's not a walk-in closet. It's kind of tight. So it's just been sitting there. And then everything I've pulled out has just been kind of piled on top. And um, yeah, these are my outfits from the week uh, because I was literally working like 20 hours a day. By the time it was time to go to bed, I couldn't even think straight and I would just peel my clothes off and throw them. So there's that. These are the pair of shoes from the one time I had to go into work to test a student this week. I guess they never made it <laughs> back to the, uh... okay, I was just going to put those there. Yep. Yeah, this is what it is like uh, to be, I'm just going to close this. <laughs> This is the real, okay, you guys? I be feeling like an outlier, low key, because people be like so neat on social media. Yeah, I got my PhD, and then I studied, and then I passed, and then, yeah, I graduated. And I'm like, y'all, my knees is bleeding, scraping against the floor, okay? I be going through it mentally, playing tricks on myself. I'm like, is it just me? I don't know, but I'm gonna reveal the truth. And I want everyone to go into this process. If you want to go into getting a PhD or going to grad school, I want you to know what you're getting into. I'm not saying this process was all atrocious. I'll save it for the video. Okay. I just, yeah, I'll, I'll save it for the video. Anywho, so I probably should clean up that, um, that coffee so it doesn't get the stinking in here. My skin is glowing thanks to, honestly, the cheapest moisture. I've gotta show you guys, hold on. So I went to Walmart a couple weeks ago and I usually get my skincare st stuff from Target. And Target and Walmart typically kind of have the same skin brands and like makeup and that kind of stuff. So I was like just expecting to have my moisturizer and they didn't have it. So I was looking like, well, maybe it's time to try something else because I've been using the same stuff for years, like at least two, three years. So I got this off brand. Literally, Equate is, isn't that Walmart's uh, off brand? Hold on. There we go. There it goes. Okay. Isn't this, isn't Equate Walmart's off brand? I know I'm not crazy for thinking that. I'm pretty sure it is. All I cared about was it being an oil free uh, moisturizer that's like hyper, hyper, what? 
words y'all um all i cared about was it being oil free and being hypoallergenic got it um and so and like for for sensitive skin and so they it had all of that so i got it you know on a wing and a prayer hoping and y'all when i tell you this little off-brand situation has been blessing my skin you see this glow you can still see some of the dark marks although they're really lifting they're not as dark as they once were but i had whoo yeah i had some breakouts going uh last time around but my skin has just been smooth and recovering very well with this stuff so i'm blabbing a lot and this is my final weekend of writing so i need to get to it okay i've got things to do i'd be really happy if i had like 90 percent of the rest of what i have to do done today that's a goal we'll see if i get there i'm positive i know by sunday night i'll be done but I would like to front load it today so I don't have to like bust my butt on Sunday and can just kind of breathe because I still do have work next week. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Let me tell you, I was up until 4 a.m. last night for a good reason. I've been working in Google Docs <clears throat> because I've been so fearful of, I have like four or five copies in my dissertation. <laughs> I've just been so fearful of the idea that something could happen to a copy and I lose all this writing that literally I bled to get out on that paper. And so I've been doing it in Google Docs, but then I was like, oh, I do have OneDrive and I love OneDrive because you can literally have auto save, but it be on Word, right? So I can do all of my formatting and stuff. Like Google Docs is terrible for formatting. So um, I downloaded the document. I was formatting. I did all of my formatting for my graphs and my charts and tables and I just really saw it come together. I was doing my editing. Thank God I've had literally miraculous editing support. And so I was going through and adding all my edits from the person, which honestly weren't a lot, thank God. Like, it was so helpful. So yeah, I really was like seeing it come together. Like I, to the point where I literally didn't want to go to sleep. I was like, I'll just pull an all-nighter and keep working because it was so exciting to really see like I'm almost done. Like y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm legit almost done. I'm almost done. Like I'm literally gonna finish today. Already 11 o'clock because I, listen, I had a alarm set for 8.30 I think or 9. <sighs> Let me tell you. I think I woke up at like 10.30. So I just got all cleaned up and got myself ready in the right mental space, called my parents, and I'm gonna listen to some church, some music, um, and just get into the flow, because today is the day, okay? Today is the day. <laughs> today is the day. I'm getting finito. And I I'm just, <laughs> they're sending me some Good night. <laughs> they had to force, why? Y'all, I look so, oh my Good. God. They had to force me to close the laptop because. Yeah. Get in the bed. I just am so close to being done that I wanted to just do it, but. Uh-uh, up and out. I have to work. Y'all, I have to work in five hours. So you know, we need to go down. Down. Up and at it. We're not getting off the phone until you walk towards that bedroom. Y'all see how they fussing me out right now? Right now. <laughs> Time mm -hmm. out. Oh, okay. I'm going. I'm going. It's almost done. It is. We are almost there. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Woo! Thank you, Jesus. 
<laughs> I've already cried. I cried once tonight. Kim cried once tonight. Unrelated things, but. Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Say good night. Tell them good night. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, you guys. I think it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Oh my gosh, today is supposed to be D Day for my dissertation. It is supposed to be the finale, the culmination, the end. Not just not the end. I will still have edits to do after. Um, but I'm supposed to be submitting my full draft to my advisor today and it's gonna happen i am so close i don't know what i told you guys last i did not record yesterday i really wanted yesterday to be the end i actually went to walmart <laughs> and got snacks and my like all my favorite worst foods uh sour patch what else did i get golf stoppers ice cream talenti ice cream the caramel cookie crunch and i'm gonna smash that today regardless <laughs> I don't want to say regardless. I'm going to finish this literally in the next couple hours. I'm not even kidding you. Um, and I'm not going to cry thinking about it, okay? I'm not. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to start off crying right now. So, sorry. I just keep getting flashes of the feeling of freedom when this is beyond me. And I, 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 I. Anyways, what was I telling y'all? Oh, I got some wine too from Walmart. And I just knew in my heart yesterday was gonna be the last day. But I did have a voice in the back of my head that was like, you used to have a lot of formatting to do. And let me tell you, the formatting never ends. Actually, it did end, thank God. I got it all done, finally. But it's like every day I felt like I was doing hours of formatting that I didn't plan to do. The new APA edition, which has thrown a wrench in all of this, but thank God, let me tell you about these ramps in the bush that the Lord sent in the last three months for me to get this dissertation finished. Rams in the bush. Rams. Rams, okay? So while I'm sitting here talking to y'all, I'm supposed to be eating because I've been taking horrible care of myself, okay? I'm just gonna confess to you guys because I love you and I know you love me and I know so many of you have been concerned and reaching out like, are you eating? Are you sleeping? Are you drinking water? My answers, no, no, no I'm not. What I will say is, once I'm done with this degree, never again, never let it, let it be known. Do I need to say it louder? Never again will I put anything or any one above myself. I can't, this almost killed me. I feel like this is a whole different video, but literally, it was so unhealthy, and I highly recommend, although unfortunately every PhD student or doctoral student or grad student I've ever heard have all had some variation of like a PTSD type experience trying to get this, trying to get to graduation and defend it and all that. But my point is, I just really don't think that how I went about this was healthy and I don't recommend my strategies for grit and perseverance to anyone. So, but that'll be a later video. I just want to come on here since I didn't record yesterday and to let you know that it's the day. And hopefully in, it's currently four o'clock, four or five, hopefully in about three hours, tops oh please lord in three hours tops i will be coming back on here with probably all types of emotion <laughs> knowing me i'm gonna eat first that was why i went over here to the fridge i got some water i'm gonna heat up these are fire i don't know if you've ever heard of them but these healthy choice power bowls do not taste like the nasty microwave meals that be all blubbery this is fire so i'm gonna heat this up also very filling I'm gonna eat that take some vitamins I'm probably gonna jump around a little bit to get the blood flowing because I feel like this poor office chair over here y'all probably has a permanent butt spot in it because it's getting all the work so I'm gonna jump around get the blood flowing and knock this thing out <laughs>
Errors, not errors. Equal, not equal. Comparable. No, I'll have to get Proportional. No. <coughs> in here hello oh my goodness i don't know where this this clip is going y'all i have literally lost track of what vlog i'm on where and why so i'm actually going to close out <laughs> i'm gonna close out of vlog because i think that's where this clip needs to go because i knew i needed to say something about the fact that i have not really come on and celebrated this moment at least in a way that you all could see that I turned my dissertation in on Wednesday. Like, I don't even think I recorded since then. I haven't really celebrated it. Like, I haven't had a moment. And to be honest, guys, that's not like just on camera. I haven't really had a debrief, a mental wusa. I mean, it's kind of been happening in stages. I think I really thought it would be like a super emotional release on that day. And I thought it would just be like, you know just this relief and tears and to be honest it hasn't it hasn't still hit me fully yet that like the dissertation is done i mean i'm still in the editing phase of course my committee still has to approve and you know go through it with a fine tooth comb but the writing like the big kahuna is behind me and man i'm just like I haven't felt it yet. I don't know if it's because like I know it's not over yet until this defense in April or what. But I also went into it very exhausted. Um, I stayed up pretty late the night before turning it in, which I made that deadline. I didn't necessarily have to turn it in then. Um, but I wanted to keep my deadline and I wanted it to match the rest of the deadlines that I have in place to get done. Can't even really put words to what that feels like to just have that hanging over you. So I wanted to get it done. So I stayed up and I think that may be part of the reason why um, why it hasn't hit me. I don't know. I was so exhausted the next day that it was like, I don't have time to cry. <laughs> well, I wanted to cry just because of how tired I was because I still had to work. Um, and like people were like calling and screaming and celebrating and people on social media were going ham. And I just you know, I was with it, but I just couldn't feel it yet. And I, I still don't know if I feel it yet. Um, I think every day it gets a little bit more like, okay, wow, like I really have my evening to myself, you know? Or like, wow, I can just watch something without feeling like my life is on fire. You know, like it's just like, wow, okay. Um, so that's been exciting to notice it in like little spurts, but um, yeah i guess i just want to document this because it's like i don't know if i thought this would be how i would react like i would get emotional even while writing when thinking about it being over and then i don't know i i still haven't cried which y'all know me i be crying on here all the time so i don't really know what that means but i'm also not really going to try to put too much thought into it and figure it out i know as this journey really does wrap up and come to a close that all of the emotions that I need to have, I'll have. And I'm not really putting pressure on myself for that um, to look any particular way. So yeah, I don't know you guys, this is such a weird journey. It's a weird, <laughs> it's just weird. Like, I don't know. Um, I sacrificed a lot to go through this journey. So I just, I don't know like I have not regrets but I just I have all sorts of feelings like every feeling you could probably imagine I have and the good part is as I talk to my doctoral friends who have gone this road before this is not new like this is not um, out of the ordinary for me to be processing in the way that I am so that's encouraging I'm like okay so at least it's not random at least it's not <laughs> something's broken in me I went out to um Uzana soul food down in DC and just ate some really good food and just relaxed every Saturday um really every weekend I've been riding from sun up to some sundown um well into midnight sometimes and so 
this is the first time where I was like, wow, I'm just gonna go into DC and just chill. And we did, we ate, my friend Lauren from Columbus. Um, we just chilled and laughed and talked about life and ate some really bomb soul food. So that was good to start off my celebration. And um, I am pretty confident that next weekend I'm going to rent an Airbnb somewhere down in DC, somewhere really cute. Don't really know where. Um, I will be looking at that, but yeah, just for a change of scenery and a, um, yeah, I just need a woosah, you know, and I've had to write in here and I've had to work in here and yeah, I've been stuck in my apartment for pretty much the entire time I've lived in Virginia. So I just want to change the scenery and maybe it'll be a partial celebration to just relax and maybe I don't know, get a massage or something like, I don't know. I'm gonna look at um, Groupon and see what's around and try to do myself a nice little, nice little getaway weekend, so. So yeah, is that all I want to say to you guys to close out this video? I think so. I really appreciate all of your prayers, all of you who sent music along. Um, if you're a Facebook friend that uh, sent me some music, some hype music, I asked them for um, some hype music to get me through. Um, I think I did catch that on video. Like I was kicking it <laughs> that night to get myself energized to finish up. So, um, so just super grateful you guys. You guys have been an amazing village. YouTube, you all have been so encouraging and y'all in my DMs celebrating these moments and a lot of you all, it's crazy, have been walking with me since like Chicago, really since I had just started um, the decision to move to Ohio State. So I'm just super grateful that you all are just as excited as me to be coming up on this milestone. So, uh, I love you guys. Hope you'll stick around because now we prep for the defense. For those who are wondering what's left, I defend um, in about a month. And then that's when I'll officially be doctor. So it's happening, you guys. It's it's really happening. I love you so much and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I hope you'll stick around and hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.